How's everybody doing? It's been a little bit, but uh, let's go with another vid. I'm just winging this one. I got a couple minutes here and I thought, okay, I'll do a quick vid. So here we are. It's the last of everything is out on the tables. Uh, everything you see here, it's the last push. I want to be done everything in two weeks and be pouring. So it's going to be go, go, go this week here. So you can see I still got a fair bit to do. Most of the big ones left to do. So I do like to work on multiples at a time. Uh, I've, I've found it really advantageous to work on six or seven or more pieces at a time because you can be at all different stages and it just keeps you moving, moving, moving all the time. So you can see some have like one side finished, that seahorse there, I've just finished a second coat on him or a second layer. Uh, this guy's ready to go on the other half, still needs wax. So most of these guys all need wax. Some need some partition walls put up still. Uh, other ones I'm working on plugs on here. So you can see what's going on here. This guy just needs his backside done. So it's gonna be, I'm coming back tonight to do a lot of wax and PVA. So I'm set up for first thing in the morning. Uh, so anyway, those ones, like I said, those ones there, I'm going like full blast on. Then these ones are all guys too that, you know, while you're working, if you got a spare bit of resin, you start working on your plugs uh, for these sort of areas. It's good to get a lot of your plugs out of the way at the same time because when you get that spray foam uh, you don't want to be stopping and starting you want to have quite a few of them lined up to go with the spray foam so you're not shooting one at a time and then throwing it in the garbage because you can't respray it again the next time because the hose is all plugged up um, just a couple things I guess when you when you get onto these big guys here like these bigger ones uh, or like that urn there it's it's a good idea to do your glass in layers because you, you probably won't be able to because bigger ones like this I like to go about three layers thick and I like to go on the seams I like to go probably four on the partition walls but you'll never get three layers on here and be able to do a good job getting bubbles and stuff out so you do it in in sections I do one layer and let it kick let it do its thing and then come back in a couple hours later and add another layer, same thing, and come back and add another layer. Um, if you're doing layers, it's what you do is you have to make sure you don't have any little, there's none here to show you, but I'll, I'll use this for example. If you have a hard pokey sticking out somewhere on here, there, can you see this? If you, if you leave that in between layers, that's gonna be really hard and your next layer will not, your resin won't melt around that. So you're going to have that pocket in there. So it's a good idea sometimes even to leave it overnight if you can, if, if it's a really big one, and give it a quick buff with your sander just to knock off all those little hard spots. But you, you can alleviate that by taking your time when you put your last bit of resin on. Just go over it really good and make sure you got nothing sticking up, nothing pokey that's going to run into a problem. And, and like I said, if you do, you can just hit it with the sander quick to knock it down. Uh, because you will have a problem if you try and lay another layer over top. It's just going to be a bubble right where that hard piece is sticking out, that pokey. Um, so all these guys here, and then if you want to come for a little adventure, I'll just show you what's in the... <laughs> it's a little crowded in here. So I'll just show you what's been done so far. So here's the other guys that are done here there's a big five piecer there so you can see the racks are pretty full so still a few more of those some of those don't need they're just going to be hangers and in, uh, in sand uh, and these guys up here so I'm leaving everything until uh, let's see can you see that I did make a boo-boo so I had to make a little adjustment there <laughs> with the diamond blade see it happens to everybody it's not always rainbows and unicorns right so uh, I'm saving all the glass to trim for the last to do it all in one shot I, I hate it makes such a mess like it's dusty and it's smelly and you got to be all masked up and so I don't like doing one at a time I'll, I'll set them all aside I'll bring them all out here onto the floor 
and that's what I'll do like for two or three days. I'll just be going like crazy, drilling holes for my bolts. I know you hate bolts, Web. Uh, drilling holes for bolts, trimming up the fiberglass, giving it a good sand, and legs uh, going on the big guys there. So hopefully I can get that all done by the end of next week. I can have that all done, but uh, we'll see. There's some big jobs here, so we'll just see how the rest of the week goes. And uh, nice talking to you guys all. Uh, I love what you do in La Havre. That looks really good. That's a lot of work what you're doing with your sculpture, but it's looking great so far. Keep up the great work. And nice to see some newbies all coming in. If everybody would just be nice and post a hello, uh, like they should. Oh, I was gonna show you down here too. There's, there's more finish down there on the bottom. Those guys, those drop molds. Anyways. I'll let everybody go and uh, I'll keep in touch. Maybe by the end of the week I'll do another one. Thanks guys.